Boba Fett is one of the most iconic characters of the Star Wars original trilogy. The jetpack, the gadgets, the man of few words, the cape, and of course, blind luck bumping him and casting him into the Sarlacc pit. Not to mention the little screen time over two movies. As much as some fans love him, some fans hate him. I will mention a few of their main points, and then I will ask the question why, today on Star Wars Fanatic. If you are new to the channel or just haven't committed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to see future Star Wars content as I release it. Go ahead and show some love for the video by hitting the thumbs up and by sharing the video. Let's reach new limits on this one. When you think of the Star Wars original trilogy, what characters come to mind? Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Yoda, Han Solo, and Princess Leia, but also the most iconic anti-hero to ever grace the silver screen, Boba Fett. For a character with so few speaking lines and limited scream time, he has more merchandise than any of the main characters from any other franchise. But does merchandise make a great character? Not usually, but Boba Fett isn't just a merchandise character. For a lot of fans, such as myself, Boba Fett represents what Star Wars is about, mystery of a galaxy we have never seen. He was intimidating without moving. Why? Well, for one, look at the way he talked to Darth Vader. There was no concern in his voice for consequences. Two, his reputation, no disintegrations. But I've talked about fans that like him and why they do in other videos. It's the fans who don't like him that we are talking about now. Their biggest concern is he did nothing on screen. Of the other negative remarks include, he was a waste of a cool design, he was knocked into the Sarlacc pit like a punk, he had no action scenes, and he didn't really do anything. And some fans just hate him, or the mention of him. I get all kinds of neat comments on my Boba videos. Their concerns are all fair, and some are true. I don't hate on anybody for liking what they like. Recently, since his return, and what a glorious return it has been, fans have outright hated it. Star Wars fans, mind you, not Boba Fett fans. Why? Because he is actually on screen doing what we always knew he could do. Or possibly because he is no longer just a merchandise tool. He's a character that is actually getting on screen story. Sure, there are plenty of comic books and legends novels about him and most ended with him becoming the greatest Mandalorian leader they have ever seen. Does the fact that Boba Fett is trending down that same path from legends scare Boba haters? When Boba Fett was teased at the end of The Mandalorian, the gunslinger, haters went crazy. It is not Boba Fett. He died in the Sarlacc. Okay, well, no he didn't. Then, at the end of Season 2, Episode 1, they showed his face again. That is not Boba. He died in the Sarlacc. That is a clone. Okay, well, it is Boba. Now, there is evidence that Boba Fett may actually be a Mandalorian. I get all kinds of nasty comments about that one. He is not a Mandalorian. I even said that Bo-Katan may have had a flashback when she heard Boba's voice and remembered the clones. I get this response. The clones are all old or dead at this point. Wait a minute. After episode 1 of season 1, or chapter 9, you all said it was probably a clone at the end. Which is it? Are they only dead when they fit your narrative? But I digress. However, I do try to respect others' views of Star Wars. We all see it differently, and we all like different characters. But don't be rude to people that like the characters you don't like. And what is the big deal if he is a Mandalorian or not? Some fans get downright mean about it. He is not a Mandalorian. Get over it. That's probably the nicest of the comments I've had. Honestly, I hope he is a Mandalorian, but I am okay if he isn't. It isn't life or death to me if I don't get my way. I'm sure the story will play out and I will like it, however it turns out. Boba Fett was the first to introduce my generation to the Mandalorian armor. He was also a Mandalorian in the old expanded universe, or Legends as it's now called. He ended up being the best Mandalorian character ever written at the time. 
That is what we Boba Fett fans are hoping for. I'm sure that will anger the non-Boba Fett fans for one reason or another. Yeah, I still don't get it. One of my viewers who goes by the name Mirin Diyar pointed out some things that may have been overlooked by myself and other Star Wars fans. Had it not been for Boba Fett, we would have never got the iconic I am your father reveal the way we did. Luke would not have got his hand cut off the way he did, and none of the Jabba the Hutt scene at the beginning of Return of the Jedi would have happened the way it did, or maybe not at all. Why? because it was Boba Fett who tracked Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Chewbacca to Cloud City. It was Boba Fett who notified the Empire of the Millennium Falcon's whereabouts. It was because of his no screen time or story that moved us forward into some of the greatest moments in Star Wars. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to be updated every time I upload a new video. I'm trying to do a video a day for five or six days a week. I may move into two videos a day in the near future. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up to show your love for what I do, although I'm sure this video will get a lot more thumbs down. Thank you for watching, stay true to your fandom, and remember, this is the way. The only way.